the um, the MacBook Pros uh, to me were certainly the most exciting thing that Apple did. Uh, the and and of course the evolution of the M1, which we'll talk about too. But um, the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros really like what they're doing with those really blew me away. They um, it, it the it, it what's I don't know I don't even know where to start with this. The for those of you that are going to go order one, uh, and you can bring up my screen for the video, John. But um, if you're going to go order one of these things, they uh, the, the pricing that Apple announced is the baseline pricing for these. So on the 14 inch, they say that it is uh, 19.99, and on the 16 inch, they say that it is 24.99. 1999 on the 14 inches, the eight core version of the M1 Pro CPU with a 512 gig SSD. Uh, you bump that up to 2499 if you want the 10 core version. This is the 14 inch, right? So 10 core CPU, which is the one that they were sort of pushing, is the M1 Pro. That's 2499. That's and it also it bumps it up to a one terabyte SSD. Uh, you can go deeper though. And spend more, of course, because from there, from that 10 core CPU at $24.99 for the 14 inch, you can jump up 200 bucks to the max with a 24 core GPU or a max for another uh, for another 200. So 400 total uh, for it with a 32 core GPU. Uh, you can add that 16 gigs of RAM going up to 32 gigs. We'll bump it up another 400 bucks. If you add the max CPU, then you can go up to 64 gigs of RAM, uh, which is 800 bucks. And then, of course, you can uh, bump up the SSDs and those sorts of things. So that's on the 14 inch. So these start to get expensive very quickly, uh, which is not overly surprising. It's just how it be. Uh, the 16 inch is it suffers a similar fate. Uh, the 24.99 on the 16 inch is the 10 core CPU, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but only a 512 gig SSD. So this is interesting. For $24.99, you can get the 14 inch with a one terabyte SSD or the 16 inch with a 512 gig SSD. Same price. That's in, because it's the same CPU, 10 core, 16 core GPU, of course, and then the uh, 16 gigs of RAM. So that it's the, the prices of these that 1999 is a bit of a distraction. So, um, but I, I, I did, I ordered, did you order one of these? I ordered a 14 inch. Uh, I probably will keep it to be perfectly honest, but I ordered it just to, cause I want to see what it's like, but I did it with the 10 core CPU. Did you, are did you, or are you going to order one of these, Mr. Braun? Um, maybe. Okay. Which one would you order? I'm curious. Would it be the 14 inch screen? No. Or the no. 16 inch screen? No, I like because yeah, I have the current 16 inch. Right. Intel based. Um, I like having lots of screen. So, lots of screen. Um, okay. Yeah. So I think I get the 16 inch. Um, uh, the the nice thing is that they increase the um, you know the RAM. The, the maximum ran. Right. But I think I'd get it with 16. I don't think it, I need more. But for people that need more, it's nice that they introduced the new chips. I mean, we were all suspecting that they would have, you know, a M1X or M1. And yeah, and they did. Right. So that's nice. Right. Well, um, yeah. And we'll talk about the difference well, between the, the, the M1 Pro and the M1 Max in a minute here. But interesting. Yeah. So the, the let's, let's talk. Um, you mentioned RAM. Uh, I have 16 on mm -hmm. both my M1 Max, my my Air mm -hmm. and my Mini, and that has been enough. Uh, there has been issues that we've heard about from a few uh, Mac Geek Cab listeners. There's many of you out there who are consultants who you know see lots of different Macs, of course, from different clients, and there's been a uh, a, a series of reports people with eight gigs of RAM in their M1 Macs that are running into, if they have lots of tabs open in a browser, it could be Safari, it could be Chrome, doesn't matter. Uh, it, they get the, you know, your machine is out of RAM. We don't know what to do. You know, error message. I'm obviously paraphrasing there. So 
uh, but I have never experienced that with 16. I think we've heard one report of it happening with 16, but certainly not as common as with eight. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, on the, on the 14 inch that I ordered, I bumped it up to the, the, um, the 16, the 32 gigs of Ram, uh, just to, you know, if I figure if I'm going to do it, I might as well, you know, have the f future proof it a little bit. So, um, so yeah, yeah, I, I, I think, I think, I think 64 is great if you really need it. I think 32 is, it might mm -hmm. be overkill, but you know, we tend to keep our machines a while around here. So I figure it's worth the investment up front because obviously you can't, you can't change it. So the screens are, are interesting. The four, the 14 inch screen, the display does 3024 by 1964. It's got. Uh, 5.9 million pixels and the 16 inch display uh 7.7 .7 million pixels 3456 by 2234 so that's a i mean that's a either one of those is a lot of screen real estate that's absolutely fantastic in fact. yeah but i noticed yeah. something that in my humble opinion should not be spread among the product line okay um but yeah, some people suspected that they would put a notch, and yes, there is a notch. Now, I mean, the good news is that it's a better camera, so it's now a 1080p FaceTime camera. It's like, what took you guys so long to figure that out? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but having a notch in there, just... Well, the, I don't there know. were to two me, problems to with me, the a old... notch, a notch, in, including the notch on my iPhone, Dave, I just think it's kind of sloppy design. I don't know. Well, if you're going to put that camera there, you either need to leave room in the entire bezel for it or mm -hmm. just that part of the bezel. And they've decided to make it just that part of the bezel. I do. I'm I'm curious, though, to see. I mean, look at what they've done with it on iOS. Right. That becomes the, you know, the 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 status bar, if you will, at the top of the mm -hmm. screen. They they say that they've done the same thing with the menu bar, where the menu bar intelligently sort of wraps around the notch, which to me means a really, like that That to me is really smart design. It's like, okay, well, we need to notch this thing out because we want a camera here. We don't just want to make the bezel bigger because then you lose all that yeah. space for a screen. So I, to me, that seems like a really smart way of doing it. Mm. Um, yeah. I'm, But it also opens the door for bartender right the um the the mac tool i think at macbartender.com right uh yeah mac bartender I, which is a tool i already use on all my macs anyway it allows you to have different sets of items that appear in your menu bar so that it's not just full of everything that you've barfed up there over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, you can control what's there and what's not there and when things appear and when don't think when things don't appear so i see I see these new notched Macs causing an uh, increase in sales for the bartender folks, which I think is great. I think it's, it's um, I think it's, you know, I, again, I, I, I like the fact that they let me, you know, you're looking at it, it one way to look at it. I don't want to say how you're looking at it. I, I can, I can't, I, I'm not inside your head, but one way to look at it is in the negative that they're taking space out of your screen. The other way to look at it is they just let me push my screen up into the bezel further notch with, with the notch carved out, obviously for the thing that the bezel needs to be there for. So I like, I, I kind of like this, um, but we'll see how it is in practice. Okay. So, um, yeah. What other things? Oh, bye bye touch bar. Yes. Well, Hello. and the new keyboard, right? Like that, that keyboard sounds like it, it could be pretty fantastic. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it sounds, it sounds like they are moving in the right direction with keyboards, which is a good thing, I think. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and some of the other choices that I think were interesting. So um, more ports. Yeah. Kind of like the MacBook pros of past well and magsafe comes back as one of those ports oh, right MagSafe but, three yes yeah but you get three uh three thunderbolt four ports an sd card uh, eight no I think about it for photographers man that's a that's a highly used thing so to not have to have a dongle when somebody's out in the in the field i mean this me buying this machine is i'm 
it is way overkill for me, right? Mm. The, I mean, this really is a pro machine.